Hello, can, can you, you tell, tell us who you are and, and what, what you have written? written? Hello, I'm Helen Stevens, and I've written um, How to Hide a Lion, The Night Iceberg, Fleabag, a little bit like my dog Peggy. Have I said The Night Iceberg? Uh, my new book is called Gracie, Grabbit and the Tiger. Tell us about your book. My new book is Gracie, Grabbit and the Tiger. And it's about a little girl whose daddy is a robber. And he takes her to the zoo. And she gets very cross with him and she says, You are a very naughty daddy. And if you go stealing things, I'm going to tell the zookeeper to set the tiger on you. And of course... Bobby Grabbit does go stealing things and the tiger sees what's going on. He puts one big paw out, he turns the little key and, and my, wasn't Bobby Grabbit surprised? And can you see here that I have written and my just with a pen? That's because this is a proof which means it's the kind of book you use just to check for anything you want to change just before it goes to print. Just check, sure, make sure everything's all right before it goes to the bookshops. And this was one thing. I just wanted this text to be made big, to have a big and my. So there we are. Gracie, grab it and the tag. Was it hard to write a book? Um, yeah, it is hard to write a book. It takes a lot of work. A lot of thinking about, you want everything to be right, so yeah, there's a lot of work involved. I thought you might like to see what I draw with. I use this. It's a dip pen and ink. And the reason it's stuck on this piece of cardboard is that sometimes I'd finish a whole illustration, it would be beautiful, it would take me a whole day, two days to do, and then I'd accidentally knock it over the artwork. So. I've got this fantastic invention. Stops me knocking it over. What, what were you like at school? Well, um, I think I was... Well, I was good at art at school. I loved art above everything else. Um, I'll tell you one incident I really remember from school. When I was about eight, my dad went to Canada. and When he came back, he brought me a leather headband that you'd wear around your hair like this, like a Native American leather headband. And I decided to wear that for school. Well, I have a really clear memory of all of the teachers stood at the side of the assembly hall, gossiping together and looking at me and sniggering behind their hands. And what I really remember is that there was a little steely part inside of me that knew that I was right. What did they know about style? What did they know about my headband? So you know, I, I think I was a little bit shy sometimes, but I definitely had some sort of steely self-preservation in there too. How did you feel when you went back to school? I was a very long time ago, I can't remember. I remember it was nice getting our new school uniform and trying that on the night before school. That was exciting. And... We lived in a house in the countryside, so we didn't play with our friends in the streets or anything during the summer holidays, so it was quite exciting to get back and see our friends. Um, yeah, a little bit of end of holiday blues, a bit of nerves about starting again, I suppose. But I generally enjoyed school. 